So, hello! Hi! Ako na lang tubag, no? So, how was your weekend? So, are you not, um, are you, were you stressed during the weekend? Dagan mo tayo mga absunod nga mga activities. So, I hope, no, diligya po tayo magpapikta sa ato ang uh, mga activities. So, relax lang sa ato panagsa, no? So, um, I am aiming, um, the pod. Uh, I would want, um, one activity only, uh, one or two activities, um, per week only. So, diligid siya every day nga maghatag to activities. So, let's again start with, um, topic two of our lesson, which is the, um, topic two, yes, topic two of our prelim coverage, which is the theories of combustion. So, unsa mang kuna ng theories of combustion. So, let's, um, tackle that one. So, objectives. So, at the end of the lesson, the students must have, first, know and understand the elements of fire, composition of the fire tetrahedron, types of energy sources, combustion process, and the types of flames. So, later on, you would know what are uh, these words I, that I have mentioned. So, makaibawa mo unse mga elements of fire, the composition of the fire tetrahedron, the types of energy sources, the combustion process, and the types of flames. So, later on, as we go along with our lesson, uh, makabalo na mo, Ana. So, appreciate the importance of fire if properly <coughs> excuse me, handled and taken care of. So, fire, the ba, has many advantages. So, if fire will be um, mishandled or um, if not properly handled or taken care of, it can cause um, great destruction or um, um, worse destruction. Next, distinguish the characteristics of complete combustion. Uh, let's go with first the fire triangle theory. So, unsa mong kuno ning fire triangle theory? Fire triangle theory is the graphical representation of the three elements of fire. Namely, so mo ni sila si oxygen, si heat, and si fuel. Okay? So using the same theory, um, oh, each side is import it is just as important as either of the two sides. There cannot be fire with all the three elements or three parts present in equal proportion. The above from the word triangle. Triangle has three sides. The body mo na siya mabuo ang triangle kung walay three sides. Okay. So this also applies with the fire triangle theory as well as your three elements of crime. So dili gyapo na siya ma, um, mapurma o wala gyapo yung crime nga mahita bo if uh, there is um, one element absent. So that is also the same with the fire triangle theory. If one element of the fire triangle theory is absent, there can be no fire. Okay? So using the same theory, there are three ways to extinguish fire. So there are three ways on how to extinguish fire. First is you have to remove the fuel. So again, fuel is um any materials which is being burned. So tarang materials nga pwede nimo i burned. So unsa mo kuno yung mga klase sa fuel? Na atay fuel sources, we have um, Excuse me. Solid, liquid, and gas. So, solid. Kanang ato ang? Kanang maghaling mo? Or kanang inyuhang gas, gas stove? Kanang sulod sa inyong gas stove, which is the? Ano sabi na siya? Gas. Oh, from the word gas, so gas stove. So, kanang gas ana is considered as your fuel. Pero kung ani ka maghaling sa kanang yung abuhan, that kahoy, or that sugnod is your fuel. Anything or materials being burned, which is being burned. Okay? So, how will you remove 
the fuel, de ba? Sa akong giingon og inyong um sa are nanta sa maghaling na og kanang uh, sa abuhan kay murag mas dali siya i, i- represent aning fire triangle theory. Di ba og maghaling mo when you remove the fuel, kung dili na nimo sugnuran, di ba mawala ang kayo? Di ba? So, kung kuan na siya nimo og sugnod, walay mahitabo nga kayo. Samot na, di ba kung um, nahubas na inyong nilungag, di ba kuan ninyo og kayo? Ku no, ku kayo. Kuan ninyo og kanang kahoy, inyong bungkagan, so di ba mapawong ang fire. So, that is the same with the fire triangle theory. So, kung i-remove ni mo ang fuel, wala, wala na yung mahitabo nga sunog. Okay? Next. So, again, the first um, graphic representation um, akong gi, ko andere is uh, the fuel is colored red. So, kung wala ang fuel, no fire will occur. Or fire will not occur. Okay? Next. Cut off the oxygen supply. So, cut off the oxygen supply. So, there is a triangle. Ang oxygen is colored blue. So, unsa mo kuno ng oxygen. Oxygen are a colorless, odorless gas and one of the compositions of air which is approximately 21% by by volume. So, one of the best at example of oxygen is ka ng inyuhang unsa man? Air. Ka ng air. That is an example of oxygen. Di ba, um, kakita ang sir mo ka ng, naasa ka ng hospital, no? Di ba, ka ng ilhang, those persons nga, um, ka ng, nag, nagsalig na lang sa ilang gibutang, sa ilang bakbang, or oxygen, di ba na? So, that is the same. Kung wala na siya oxygen, ang tao pwede gihapon ma, matay. So, kung ari po ta sa fire, um, sa ato ang abuhan, di ba, muingo ng inyong mama nga, nga nung wala mo na ing siga, Mao di ay waing siga kay gapuot ang inyong sugnod. Wala man ninyo pahungawi. Dili man kasod ang oxygen kung inyo na siyang iduot taman. Wala di na siya makahungaw ba? Walay air nga musulod. That is again the same with the fire triangle theory. So kung imong i-cut off ang oxygen supply, so kung imo siyang iduot-duot ang sugnod, wala gi fire nga mahitabo. Di ba? Dili mo siga. That is again Cut off the oxygen supply. Next is the reduce the temperature. Oh, the bad temperature here or the heat is um colored brown. So so maghaling mo the ba the flame or oh, the flame the match kanang flame sa math ma, match is considered the heat. So kung imo na siyang um imo na siyang i um is i eh, dong sa kanang uh, sa, eh? sa fuel mo init na siya so mo na siyang mo siga so again that is the fire triangle theory you can uh, there is no fire or no fire will occur if one of the element is absent okay next heat so unsa man ay what are the elements of fire ko no First, we have heat, a form of energy generated by the transmission of some other form of energy as in combustion or burning. So, unsa mo ko mga example of heat. Natin gitawag og open flame, electrical circuit, sparks, hot surfaces of friction, or all sources of ignition. Friction, the very common. Daba inyong irab ang inyong um, hands. So, inyo na siyang irab. So, when you feel it, the ba, in it. So, that is friction. That is one sources, one source of heat. The ba, during your um, elementary days, katong, di po, elementary, um, high school, ka ng mga, inyong mga cub scout and boy scout, girl scout, or what, whatsoever. The ba, um, appeal sa inyong, um, di po, training, um, activity is how to, um, produce fire by rubbing the, two kawayans, di ba? By ru- rubbing the two bamboo. So, that, uh, that, uh, by by rubbing that one, muna na ang friction. Di ba? Gi- gi-encourage mo to rub in order to produce heat. Okay? Heat, which is later on, mahimong kayo. Okay? So, when you rub your two hands together, o, di ba? Inito na to. Inig-feel na to, init na siya. So, that is one source of 
heat. So, one of the major source of heat is kanang adlaw, kanang sun, the sun itself. Diba? Um, forest fire. Kailan mo siguro mag forest fire? Diba? So, forest fire again is very common kanang nahitabo sa ato ang sa amua. Adi po sa amua. Sa, uh, unahan sa amua. Unahan sa albor. Diba? Joke. So, unaha sa United States of America. So, diba? Nahitabo na siya. Daghan kayo. Very common ang forest fire. Again, the same, that is again brought by climate change. Climate change or kanang sobra na kainiton ang ato ang um, sobra na kainit ba? So, forest fire siguro daghan kayo nga mga dahon nga laya. Kailangan siya magdahon ka ng dahon ba nga laya na niya. Init kayo and present ang iyang oxygen. So, present or um, daghan ang oxygen. Kasi syempre, forest man, niya open. So, na yung tendency nga, masunog mag-start ang kayo. Okay? Next, let's go with oxygen. A colorless, odorless gas and one of the compositions of air which is approximately 21% by volume. So, oxygen ka nang ato ang air. Next, so fuel, ako naman ng historia ganyan. There are three um, sources of fuel. Nata gitawag na solid, liquid, and gas. Solid molecules are closely packed together. Solid can be kahoy, um, coal, the wood, yan na. Kanang plastic, paper, leather, so may sawdust, so muna siya mga common types of solid fuels. Next is kanang gases. Kanang nasa inyong gas, oh gas, gas range, kanang ito ang na, propane, butane, acetylene, so kanang siya that is considered as gas fuel. Next is common types of liquid. Kanang ato ang gasoline. Diba? Gasolina, kerosene, turpentine, alcohol, and varnish. Can paint, can also be a fuel source. Now, let's go with the fire tetrahedron. So, unsa ko nun fire tetrahedron? So, the fire triangle theory describes the three elements of a fire. Ah, uh, by the way, class, um, as you can see, the fire triangle theory word has been, um, highlighted, colored blue, and underlined. So, whenever I send a, so, mag-send, mag ko og, um, the PowerPoint, so, inyong, inyo na siyang i-press, that will automatically link to YouTube. So, kung inyo nang, um, inyo na siyang i- if you ning fire triangle theory, it will automatically link to a video ng akong gi link sa YouTube. So, kamo na lang tanaw na. Again, that is also helpful sa ato ang lesson. So, the fire triangle theory describes the three elements of fire. Another explanation of the requirement of combustion uses a four-sided figure called fire tetrahedron. So, kaning fire tetrahedron, the best elements of fire has only three parts or three elements. So, there is a fire tetrahedron, gidungaga, gidugangan ng siya o isa ka element, which is the chemical reaction, the self-sustaining chemical reaction. So, both theories are used to explain what causes a fire. So, the fourth element of the fire tetrahedron explanation is known as chemical reactivity or the chemical reaction. Muna si fire triangle theory. Next, what are the components or elements of the fire tetrahedron? So, unsa ko ni mga components or elements? So, for combustion to occur, four elements are necessary. So, gitakol na nako ang three elements. So, let's um, so, Bale, mo na siya ang components sa fire tetrahedron. But, those three components nga present sa fire tetrahedron is also the fire triangle theory. Again, ang fire tetrahedron, gidugangan lang siya og isa ka element, which is the self-sustained chemical chain reaction. Safe na siya. So, these elements can be graphically described as the fire tetrahedron. Each element of the tetrahedron must be in place for combustion to occur. 
this theory is extremely important uh, to the students. So, fire suppression, prevention, and investigation. So, removing any of the four elements, combustion will not occur. If ignition has already started, the fire is extinguished if one of the elements is removed from the reaction. So, again, if one is removed, is extinguished, there is no fire or the fire will be suppressed. So, next. So, kanina, di ba, akong ipakita ang harap ito akong nanabalik. This one, the fire tetrahedron theory. So, when a fuel is heated, kano, it gives off vapor. So, makita na to diri sa ato ang sa ato ang sa akong picture nga gi-attach nga, na ay gi attach na ay mga, it gives vapor. It gives off vapor which if mixed with the correct amount of air, can be ignited by a heat source. So, example ko na, the pan filled with liquid fuel as an example is shown in the figure, which gives up vapors before it can ignite. So, before ko na siya mo ignite, muhatag sa siya og vapors. So, kanang nag-ingana sa inyong kayo. So, the vapor area is closest to the fuel. As the temperature of the liquid fuel rises, the molecules separate or break down into elements of hydrogen atoms, carbon atoms, and lighter hydrocarbon molecules, causing these particles to react with the oxygen of the surrounding air. So, kaniko ng vapor is dool na na siya sa imong fuel, gives off vapor, nga mo na na siya ang mo-react with the oxygen of the surrounding air. Para mo, siga na na siya. In this area, the oxygen is introduced and begins to mix with these particles and the reaction starts. So, muna na kuno na ang reaction. Next, components of the fire tetrahedron. So, components present gi hapon ang ato ang oxygen, fuel and heat. So heat the ba is a kanang ka initon. Next. So heat is the energy component of the fire tetrahedron when heat comes in contact with the fuel, the energy supports the combustion process. So dili na kay nako itakol ang oxygen and fuel and heat because that was Um, already mentioned during the explanation of the fire triangle theory. Now let's go with the self-sustained chemical reaction, which is the fourth element. So combustion is a complex re complex reaction that it requires a fuel, gaseous or vapor state, an oxidizer, and heat to combine in a very specific way. So, once flaming starts, it can only continue when enough heat or energy is produced to cause the continued chain reaction. Chain reaction is a series of events that occur in sequence with the result of each individual reaction being added to the rest. Diba, og maghaling mo. Diba, no need na siya ni mo. Huy pon, pasigaon pa. Once the three elements are present. So, once the three elements or when flame starts, so when flame starts, natin gitawag o chemical reaction. So, when the three elements are present, so mo-appeal na ang ika-fourth element, which is the self-sustained chemical reaction. Diba? Reaction occur in the sequence with the result of each individual reaction being added to the rest. So, once the three are present, so automatic na na siya si chemical chain reaction when when the three elements is present, na siya gitawag og self-sustain. Ma, siga na na siya og iyaha. ba diba? og magaling taon niya, sakto ang ato ang oxygen, ang fuel, og ang katong kainiton, di ba? Musiga na siya kaayo. So, no need na siya ni mo, huipon. Mo na gitawag og self-sustain chemical reaction.
makasustain siya ba nga dili na siya nimo um dili na siya nimo um hilabtan okay because the three elements are present so combustion reaction or process so causes pyroly pyrolysis or vaporization of solid and liquid fuels and the production of ignitable vapors or gases provides the energy necessary for ignition and causes the continuous production and ignition of fuel vapors or gases to continue the combustion reaction so what are the types of energy kuno the common sources of heat so one of the most common sources of heat again is kanang sun so first that I mention nga chemical energy. Chemical energy is the most common source of heat in combustion reaction. So when any combustible is in contact with oxygen, oxidation occurs. So example ane chemical energy in wood. So dry wood contains stored chemical energy. So when you burn that wood in a fireplace chemical energy is released and converted into thermal energy which is the heat and light energy and what about the wood following the chemical reaction it's now turned in a new substance which is called ash diba sa inyong um sa atong science before um chemical energy um chemical chemi chemical energy diba um, it will burn, but dapat na asiyay um, result or kanang lagi, which is the result. Diba, huwag sunog tagpapil, diba? One of the example nga, um, example sa una, during our um, elementary or high school days, diba, sa, isa sa chemical reaction, or the chemical reaction again, is kanang magsunog tagpapil, diba? Once nga masunog, ang kanang ash ana is considered the chemical reaction. Okay? That is again the same with the um sa ato ang leksyon aning chemical energy. So that wood nga gisunog sa fireplace which will turn into ash or kanang oleng. Okay? Next. So heat generated from a burning match so self as heating spontaneous heating. Next is electrical energy so electrical energy can generate temperatures high enough to ignite any combustible materials near the heated area so factors involving electrical heating so current flow through a resistance over current or overload diba one of the reason nga nung nasunog ba ni ay nag overloading di ay so init na siya kaayo kay nag overload na so that is one of the causes nga nung na ay so, no. so, again, that is one of the sources of heat. That when heat touches a fuel and with the presence of oxygen, it will cause fire. Okay? Next is, kanang itawag na to og sparking. So, kanang mag spark, spark. Dili ng spark ninyo doon, no? Ay, joke. Next is, kanang lightning. So, kanang um, kilat. Diba? That is one of the um, causes, uh, natural causes of fire, kanang lightning. Let's go with the nuclear energy. So, nuclear energy or nuclear heat energy is generated when atoms either split apart, fission or combine, which is fusion. So, fission heats water to drive steam turbines and produce electricity so without heat kuno ay heat is very important diba we cannot um run an engine kung walay heat diba mo ingon sila nga um kanang before diba mo mo start ang engine pa initon sa sud sa una mo na siya heat again so heat is very important but if heat is um um, used improperly. So, kung pasagdan na nato ang bisag na atay sources of heat, niya, kung pasagdan na nato, it will lead to disadvantage. Muna na ka nang gitawag na to og accidental fire. ba? Accidental fire. Wala man na siya 
Though wala na to gituyo, pero kabalo ta nga ang ato ang kintay ato ang electrical circuit is na ay murag um, nag-spark, pero ato siyang gipasak gipasagdan. So again, that will start the fire. Though accidental siya, pero kabalota in our um in our um kabalota nga tungod sa tungod sa spark nga atong gipasagdan, wala na to gi um gi-aid dayon. So that will um automatically cause fire when being touched or we, when being close to a fuel. Okay? So the solar energy is a product of a fush fusion reaction or a form of nuclear energy so heat let's go with mechanical energy so an energy created by friction and compression so an energy created by friction and compression so heat of friction is the movement of two surfaces against each other so this movement produces sparks being generated heat of compression so, muna siya, two sparks created. See? Natin kita wag og heat. Heat, next is heat of compression. Heat is generated when a gas is compressed in a container or cylinder. So, muna siya ang ato ang mechanical energy. Now, let's go with the combustion. So, unang sa mabugo na ng combustion. So, fire and combustion are terms that are often used interchangeably. So, technically speaking, fire is a form of combustion. So, si fire kuno is a form of combustion because fire is a form of heat. Okay? So, combustion, a self-sustaining chemical reaction Producing energy or products that cause more reactions of the same kind. Combustion is an exothermic reaction. So, unsa mong kung ng exothermic reaction? Are reactions or process that release energy usually in the form of heat and or light. So, in an exothermic reaction, energy is released because the total energy of the product is less than the total energy of the reactants so fire is a chemical reaction in which energy in the form of heat is produced so example when forest fuels burn there is a chemical combination of the oxygen in the air with woody material pitch and other burnable elements found in the forest environment so, this process is known as the combustion. So, combustion now is a chain reaction. So, fire begins with ignition. So, the match is a common ignition device. Friction creates sufficient heat to ignite the phosphorus on the end of the match. So, combustion occurs and the match flames. Now let's so so fire is a rapid self-sustaining oxidation process accompanied by the release of heat and light of different intensities. The time it takes a reaction to occur determines the type of reaction that is observed. Okay, so fire is part or is a form of combustion. So Take, let's take an example, katong match. The match is a common ignition device. Friction creates sufficient heat to ignite. Diba, huwag atong isantikan ang match. Diba, nakakreate na taong friction. Ignite the phosphorus on the end of the match and combustion occurs and the match flames. So, when the match flames, combustion occurs. Diba, Naman tayo, di ba, inigsantik nito, kanay magawas nga aso. Okay? That is part of combustion. Now, let's, what are the products of combustion? So, unsa mo kung mga products of combustion? Fire gases are those that remain when other products of combustion cool to normal temperature. 
the fire gases that form depend on the chemical composition of the fuel, the percent of oxygen present, and the temperature of the fire. The records of fatal fires show that more people died from inhaling these superheated and toxic fire gases than from any other cause. So, kung ang ato ko nung so, when combustion cools to normal temperature, naagid ko na yung mabilin nga gases, fire gases, which can be toxic or fatal if inhaled by a person. So, these are um, gases na nabilin during incomplete combustion. Okay? So, what are those types of poisonous gases or fire gases? So, first, we have hydrogen sulfide, a fire gas formed during fires involving organic material containing sulfur. So, ang hydrogen sulfide, kuno, um, it is colorless such as rubber, hair, wood, meat, and hides. Diba, og masunog atong buhok, diba, laig baho. So, that is... Uh, an example of an hydrogen sulfide. So, na ako na components, ana, which is hydrogen sulfide. That gas, a fire gas formed during fires involving organic material containing sulfur. So, masunog ang rubber, di ba ka? Kuan mo nga baho siya? No, yeah. Next, let's go with the hydrogen cyanide. A toxic fire gas found in oxygen-starved fires involving nitrogen-containing materials such as wool, silk, urethane, polymides, and acrylic. So again, if masunog ya po na siya, baho, that is very fatal. One, nagiingon na rin nga, one of the most causes nga nung mamatay ang tao is ka nang pag-inhale niya sa toxic fire gases. Dili ang iyang pagkasunog but the inhalation itself. Nabi ito na giingon nila nga, if you, if you are, um, if you are, um, inside the building, and the building is, kanang nagsunog na, diba? You have to crawl. Diba? You have to crawl because, that, those upper part nga nasunog sa building, contains the, poisonous gases. Diri man sa ilang, naapa tong gitawag na to, og oxygen. The proper um, composition of one room, di ba sa at the end of the pader, ang sorry ng pader, the wall, na ay mura gamay nga um, space. Because if in case magkasunog na siya, those um, oxygen, musod pa siya sa aning, mabito nang mukrol ka in order for you to um, maka, ito ito gano'y? Eh? Uh, makalangha pa ka og oxygen. So, Gi practice man mo nga if ever na i fire mo crawl juga okay because na pa may oxygen nga mo um sulod sa anak nga building adto agi siya sa ilawom sa katong wall di ba sa atong wall natay mura gamay nga gingana sa atong wall so that is the wall and atong gamay nga murag buhok dapit sa portahan next is the hydrogen chloride a gas which can be fatal after only a few breath is produced in fires involving chloride-containing plastic. Plastics can be found anywhere from furnishings to electrical insulation, conduit, and pipings. So one of the one of the fatal gases kuno is the hydrogen chloride. Now let's go with flame. Ikaduha nga products of combustion flame is the luminous body of a burning gas which gets hotter and less luminous when mixed with more oxygen so flame fades when carbon burns completely so flame is considered a product of incomplete combustion so flame kuno is product of incomplete combustion So, what are the types of flames? 
according to color and completeness of combustion. So again, this there are words nga naka-highlight. So naana siya na at naka-attach nga video sa so, kamo na light and out. So luminous flame indicates a reddish orange in color. It deposits soot because it is a product of incomplete combustion. So it has lower temperature. So luminous flame produces soot. Unsa man ang soot? Aso. Okay? Because it is a product of com incomplete combustion. It has lower temperature. Basta naka reddish orange in color. Next, non-luminous flame, bluish in color. It does not deposit soot because it is a product of complete combustion. So it has a higher temperature than luminous flame. So it is much hotter than the luminous flame. Letter B. According to burning fuel and air mixture. So example ko na of a premix flame is a Bunsen burner. Diba? Ang example of the Bunsen burner is talinis ang ihang um, flame. Gapatalinis ba? Murag gapastrate. Following one direction. That is a premix flame and one of the example is the Bunsen burner. So, naka-highlight mo ng premix flame. So, na sa video nga naka-attach an example of a Bunsen burner. Next is a diffusion flame. Example of flame of the oxyacetylene church diffuse, disperse, or widely spread. So, diffusion flame, kung nakita mo siguro mo torch, di ba? Torch is dili, um, steady ang iyang flame. Nagbali, nagkatag-katag ba? Murag, um, dili straight. Naghiwi-hiwi siya. Okay? Torch. Murag, dili ba, um, dili ba, direct ang iyang siga. Wala, gin siya gapatas. Murag, ha, giring, murag, pisag-asa gapadong. Okay? Murag, gahiwi ba ang iyang suno, ang iyang flame. So, again, that is highlighted. So, nag-get mo siya video nga akong gi-attach. Last is, based on smoothness. Laminar flame, or the smooth flame. Flame is laminar when a particle follows a smooth path through a gaseous flame. And last is a turbulent flame, or considered a rough flame. Those having unsteady, irregular swirls and eddies. So, smooth flame, kuno, following a smooth path. So, and turbulent flame, katugya pong ga, um, dili steady ba? Okay? So, that, uh, it, uh, the end. So, that ends our, um, topic 2, which is the theories of combustion. So, I hope you have gained something out of, uh, out of my discussion. And... I will see you on the next um, discussion for the topic 3. So, I hope you have time to see this um, video and listen to this video. Okay? So, don't forget to um, see the attachment, the link na akong ipang highlight sa mga words because na video dito na naka-attach sa YouTube. Okay? Bye!